as a campaign manager how will you know the offers that you send out are going to be consumed by your customers and if at all customers looked at those offers what is the roi that you got through this particular campaign in this power bi case study we're going to build a dashboard that is going to help you understand how your marketing campaign performed on the offers that you sent to 64000 customers but before we go there hey problem solvers my name is kunal like i am the founder of data science masterminds i am on a mission to help you learn and apply data science effectively so that you can quickly grow in your career so do me a favor by subscribing to my channel and hitting the bell notification button so that you get notified whenever i release an awesome smart trick like this one also if you like my work please feel free to share it with your friends and colleagues so that they can accelerate their journey you can also contribute to my mission by hitting the super thanks button and helping me continue this journey so that others like you can learn and apply data science effectively to grow in their career but before we dive in you can download the data set and follow along with me on this particular case study i placed a link in the description section below let's get started we're going to begin by importing the data so i have my data in this particular location i'm going to copy the location and i'm going to go to import data from excel and give the location and hopefully i should get this dot csv file that is available here so i'm going to select that and i'm going to load the data next i'm going to click on this particular load and i'm going to say okay and i'm going to take a while to load it sometimes and once it is loaded you should be able to see this build visuals with your data select or drag fields from fields pane onto the report canvas this is when we know that the data is ready for doing visualization so we're going to use this particular blueprint to build our dashboard we're going to begin by knowing how many customers are there and how many conversions were there what is it in terms of percentage then last four months conversion percentage the roi and how many of them use the buy one get one offer and then we're going to create four charts looking at the conversion percentage and roi by channel and offer so first we're going to get this customer count let's do this by going into power bi and creating a measure we're going to expand the fields here and i'm going to click here and i'm going to say new measure now this is going to be customer count so i'm going to say customer count and it's going to be calculated by saying count of and we're going to say promotion conversion here right so that's going to be there and i'm going to say enter now once i do enter you see that the customer count comes on to this particular side and we can expand this to get a little space here and that should be good enough for us now so we got the customer count and now we are ready to get our first kpi so we are going to use this kpi card the card here and we are going to drag it to the portfolio here now it's going to ask for a field and so we are going to provide this customer count i have misspelled this one so i'm just going to say rename and i'm going to give customer customer count so that's going to be a good one once that is done we can then take to this particular area and put the customer count there so it's going to give us this 64k and then we can resize this like so so this is resized and we'll leave it as is uh, for now and we're going to create another kpi which is going to be this one total conversions so for that again we're going to copy and paste this one and going to place it here similarly there are four others so i'm just going to copy and paste four of them here so that we can align them beforehand and then keep changing what we want okay so we have all of this click on this one and click on this one and all of them are aligned now in case we need to do some alignment we should be able to do it little later on but we have the six kpis and now it's also good time for us to keep a title so that we can all be in good sync so i'm going to put a text box on top of it here and we're going to say here what's the name marketing campaign promotion performance marketing promotion performance so this is good and we're just going to resize this a little bit to let's say point 24 expand this a little bit center align this one keep this tight and this should be good enough maybe make it bold expand this a little bit okay and so we've got this and we can just take this one now and place it on top here 
just align this with the KPI. So this is going to be the box that we are going to be having. Now there are some styles that we have here. We can probably go here and find out some background color and we're just going to keep gray for now. So we have all our KPIs and we can just click all of them and just align it like this. So we have all our KPIs now and it's a matter of getting all of them. But first let's see how we got this customer count. Now I have this data with me and I'm going to go to the KPI section where I'm going to get this count again. So how we got this count is I basically took this conversion, took it to the values area in Excel and let's say value as count I did, right? So I did this count and I got the 64,000 customers, right? So that's how I got the 64,000. We can very well achieve the same thing using the Excel pivot table. So we got the first KPI and now let's see how we can get the second KPI. The second one is total conversions. And so if I go to this particular one, I want to take this conversions. I'm going to just sum it up and I'm going to get this 94, uh, 9394. So that is going to be total conversions. I'm going to go back here and I'm going to create another measure here and I'm going to call this as total conversion. And that is going to be sum of and I'm going to go conversion. Say enter and we should have a measure which is going to give us the total conversion. So I can go to this particular KPI remove this one and put total conversion here which is going to give me that particular number which is the second kpi the third kpi is going to be this conversion percentage so it's going to be sum of this divided by this particular one right so let's see how we can get this in excel what we're going to do right now is going to take the conversions here and we're going to also take again conversion into this place and let's say give this as count so once we give that now we have the sum of conversion and then sum of the count of customers here and what we can do is say j6 divide by i6 and i should get the 14 percent that we are looking for so we're going to get that in power bi now and the way we can do it is again create a new measure and this time we can give this as conversion percentage and this time we can reuse the measures that we have already created so we're going to say total conversion divide by customer count, which is going to be straightforward. So I'm going to say enter and we have this conversion percentage. Now I can just remove this and put this con conversion percentage here. Oh, my bad. We should do it on the right KPI. Ensure you're selecting the right KPI and I'm going to select that and I'm going to put conversion percentage here but this is not formatting in the right way. So to format it, we are going to select the conversion percentage KPI here and I'm going to choose percentage here. Now it's going to be with two decimals. So I'm just going to remove one of the decimals and have this 14.7%, which is good to go. In fact, let's format this one also, which is the total conversions. And we're just going to give a comma separated value here and we'll have this comma neatly available. So we've got the first three KPIs and now we need to get the next three, which is going to be last four months conversion. Now, how do we get last four months conversion? Last four, four months conversion can be gotten by doing the same calculation. Okay. But only the difference is going to be that we're going to add a filter, which is going to give us the last four months conversion. And to do that, we're going to use recency into the filters area and we're going to select one two three four and say okay and it should give us this 17 percent which is what we want now we need to make the same calculation within power bi so we can say last four months conversion percentage so i'm going to go to this one and we're going to create a new measure it's a new measure and it's going to be last four months conversion percentage now the formula will be total conversion divided by customer count but this will give us only conversion percentage so to filter it only for the last four recent months what we are going to do is use a calculate function and then we are going to give the filter criteria here so we are going to choose recency 
should be less than or equal to 4 months and close the bracket. Notice we are doing this calculation for a filter which is recency less than or equal to 4 months and that's where that calculate function comes here. I am going to say enter and I am going to select the fourth KPI here and we are going to go and take the last four conversion in place of customer account. Now again same formatting issue, I am going to click this one and say format, reduce the size and we should have the last four months conversion percentage. Next one is going to be the ROI and used BOGO. Now the ROI is gotten by multiplying $25 into the number of conversions that are there. So we are going to create a new measure and take all of the conversions and multiply 25 to it. So this is what's happening. I go back to Excel and I go to this ROI calculation. I'm going to take conversion here, which is going to give me the 9394 conversions. And I'm going to take that $25 here and we can format this to be a dollar. Let's say something like this. And then we're going to say Q6 into 25 here. Now that's the ROI to 34K. That is what we want to get here. I'm going to say new measure and this is going to be ROI. It's going to be total conversion into 25, right? So this should be a simple calculation. Now we have this measure and we can put this in place of customer and then we can place this in front of customer account and this is going to be 235k that is the number we saw here we have the last one that is going to be how many of them used a bogo offer or it's called as the buy one get one offer and that is of significant importance for this particular marketing campaign manager and so we want to get this particular number now there are different channels that are there that is multi-channel phone and web and there are different types of offers buy one get one discount and no offer we just want to get buy one and get one and fortunately for us there is going to be one column that indicates this that is this used bogo so we can just sum up this and we can get our kpi so if i go to this kpi chart and i'm just going to say used bogo it's going to be 35,182 of them right so that is what we're going to get and so we're going to go here right now and instead of this we're just going to drop used bogo here and it's going to say sum of used bogo so maybe we can just rename for this particular visual and you would say bogo offers now and that's going to be this kpi now we got the kpi layer done which is the significant portion which just tells the users what are the most important metrics they should be looking at, KPIs they should be looking at. And now it's time to get these four charts. We'll go back to Power BI and we're going to take a bar chart and that is going to be maybe this one or we're going to take this one that is stacked column chart. So I'm going to click on that and it's going to give me a chart this, this one here and it's going to align this here. We're going to take this by channel, conversion percentage by channel. So we're going to take the channel column here and put it into the X axis and we're going to say conversion percentage into the Y. So it gives us this particular value and I'm going to stress this and put it to at least the midpoint here. Now we have this conversion percentage by channel, which is again, we can copy and then paste it here. And then now we can show ROI by channel or we can show conversion by offer. Maybe let's show conversion by offer since we already have this and we can just resize this a little bit here. Let's say around this much should be fine. Let's delete this again, copy and paste this and we should be able to place it below here. Now this is going to be by offer. So we're going to take offer here and replace it in this place or uh, maybe to the X axis. So I'm going to remove the channel and so we have conversion by offer and channel and we can now copy these two paste it and replace organize this a bit and then replace the KPI which is going to be this time going to be on the 
here maybe we want to show the ROI so that's going to be better and so I'm going to remove this and show ROI for both these charts which is just going to even out it and so now we have this particular dashboard where we have marketing campaign promotion performance we have all our key KPIs and then we have our charts now the next step is to make it a little bit beautiful and so the way it works is you just strip off all the other details and it will look better so let's do that one by one we'll begin with this card and i'm going to select that one and go to format and maybe give out let's say some general formatting which is let's say effects let's say visual border and i'm going to say on and we're going to give a very slight border like that and uh, maybe select this again and also maybe increase the size of the font i think so this is good enough for font so uh, that should be good the unit is auto call out value category label maybe we can just make this a lot more gray it should be better so this is good enough and we can then use the format painter to do the rest of them like this and this is a simple process next we're going to do the charts and we'll do one of them and then use format for enter for the rest of them so the best way to get this much more better is to remove all of these axes and this conversion percentage and this channel and so there are different places you can find them i'm going to go to this format here and i'm going to turn off y axis which is going to be that off then not maybe y axis maybe not that's that's something that will be requiring and then we are going to go to data labels this is there maybe axis title we are going to switch it off and we have this title yeah we can switch that off go to y axis and we can switch off the title there also and now we have all the titles removed and conversion percentage now i think we can go ahead and give the labels information so data labels we can switch it on so at least we have this percentages visible so this is much more better it removes all the clutter and you can, as, you, as you can see this is looking a lot better so we're going to take this format and then put it here Similarly, take that format, put it here, format, and then put it here. And the visuals are looking a lot more better. We can just expand all of this and have this particular dashboard. So you can then finally save this. And I'm going to save this in the location that I have it. I'm going to say this as C1. I'm going to say save. Now this dashboard is ready and you can publish it wherever you want. Now, as per the interpretation goes, the marketing manager can look at the number of customers. He will now know how many conversions happened, how many, what was the percentage of it, what is the last four months conversion, and there is an improvement in the last four month conversions, which is a good thing. There is a good uh, amount of ROI, but it will be good to know whether they have increased or decreased based on previous campaigns. But we don't have that information right now, but that will be another good information. Then we have how many of them how many of them saw that bogo offer and we got 35k of them that is nearly 50 percent and the campaign manager is happy with at least this particular results then he got some ideas about conversion percentage by channel and looks like phone con conversions are less and multi-channel conversions are high which means he should pivot some of his dollars to doing more promotions through this multi-channel Similarly, you can see the ROI is also very good in web, phone and ROI is less in multi-channel multi because yes, conversions, all the conversions are high, you know, maybe not a lot of effort has gone into doing a lot of multi-channel activities. And so if this is giving a good conversion, better to do, bet on a lot of multi-channel activities or more multi-channel customers and should be able to get good returns. Similarly, conversion by offer. As you can see discount is giving the highest returns the highest conversions buy one get one not so much and so it is since it's his focus area he wants to really improve this so 15 percent 
it's just slightly above the conversion percent and so it should be good enough but 18 percent is something that can be an aspirational for buy one get one and then next obviously RO by offer and you can see discount again gets the highest amount followed by buy one and then no offer with this particular detail the marketing campaign has basic information of how his campaign has performed and what he needs to do next to improve the ROI. Now that you know how to build a Power BI dashboard, it's time for you to work on another case study and build similar dashboard. Thank you for watching this video guys. Now if you like this particular video, I have another video on Tableau that is building the ugliest Tableau dashboard. So I want you to check out that particular video and see you in the next video.